it's Anna Keeley and I'm out running some errands but I wanted to just share with you something that's been on my heart and by the way I'm looking at the road I'm not looking at you I'm looking at the road so no worries I'm driving here um, I'm driving here okay no one's in the car but me wow that's really embarrassing okay I want to share with you something that's been on my heart lately and that's labels and the lie that most labels represent um, I'm here in Moms left and right telling me every label in the world that they have ADHD, uh, fibromyalgia, hyperthyroidism, um, self-control problems. Um, I'm hearing them talk about their kids who have physical ailments and um, whether it's, you know, developmental disorders or, or hyperactivity. I tell you, labels can be very, very dangerous. And for the main reason is that they give us an out. They give us an out not to live the abundant life that God has equipped us to live. And I know, I know, I know that I'm stepping on some toes here, um, but I'm, I've got to deliver the uncompromised truth. And that is that the word of God supersedes every label that mankind has put upon you whether it's a doctor or a psych psychiatrist or your parents, um, whoever has labeled you, whoever has diagnosed you with the label, you can choose to accept that label or not. You can choose to live by that label or not. Um, but if anyone can talk about the power of labels is me because for, you know, when I was a kid, I was put in, um, I can't even remember. <laughs> I was probably put in it justly. <laughs> I was put in special ed classes. And for those of you who know me, you're probably saying, yeah, I can see that happening. Absolutely. I was put in special ed classes, okay? I rode the short bus, for crying out loud. Uh, but my parents refused that label. They refused what the um, social workers and the, and the you know, professionals told them. They said, that's not our daughter. That's not the label we're going to choose to accept. We're going to choose to accept the label that God has put on her. And I want to encourage you today that whatever label has been placed upon you, that you hold that up against the Word of God. Because the Word of God that says you are well able to do anything that is put before you. The Word of God says that you are the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. The Word of God says that you have the mind of Christ. The Word of God says that you have strength, that you have stamina to run and not grow weary, to walk and not faint. Go to the Word of God for your labels. Cling to that truth. Please, I encourage you to um, just live out what He has already ordained for you to live out. And I tell you, those labels that God has given you, they start out as a seed. Okay, so you may, you know, you, you might feel scattered all over the place. And you say, well, how can I have the mind of Christ? I can't even pay attention. You know, I start doing a task and then I, I, you know, run off to something else because I don't have the attention to do it. Well, guess what? That is a seed that is placed in you. Okay. Having the mind of Christ is a seed. And the more you feed that seed, the more you will exhibit the character that God has placed within you, that God will enable you to exhibit the character that is more like Christ. Um, I tell you this morning, I'm just going to be flat out honest with you. I felt like poop on a poo poo platter this morning. My nose was all stuffed up. I had a headache and I'm, I'm just telling you the truth. I put on my sweatshirt and I just climbed back in bed and I said, I just can't do it today. I wouldn't say I was sick because my husband said, are you feeling sick? No, 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 I'm fine because I know the danger of labels. But I tell you what, when I was laying there, the voice of God spoke to me and said, is this how a healthy person acts? I was like, oh man, you got me there, God. So I, I got up, I got dressed, I cleaned the kitchen, I started folding the clothes. But I tell you, it's a temptation, okay? It's enough to say, you know, I am wealthy, but then you got to decide how would a wealthy person act with their money? Would they spend it foolishly or would they save it? So um, whenever you claim the label that Christ has put upon you, that the Word of God says you are, you got to realize that that's a seed. You got to feed that seed. You've got to act like that characteristic. So if you are going to say you're healthy, act like you're healthy. Even if it feels like you're 
play and pretend sometimes. You step into it and you feed that seed and it will grow and it will grow and you will start developing character that just far surpasses anything you could imagine in your life. But I tell you, you've got to feed the seed. You've got to get rid of the labels that are holding you back. You've got to claim the labels that will move you forward. And then you got to feed that seed and let it grow inside of you. So I just want to encourage you today. And um, I tell you, keep at it. We're in this together. We can do it. I love you. I pray for you all the time. And we are going to kick royal booty in 2013.